Alright guys, it's DOD here. Um, so I come from a small town uh, which is in Greater Manchester called Bury. Um, that's situated in the northwest of England. So the best thing to come from Bury uh, will probably have to be my mates to be honest. Uh, I do miss my mates and every time I go back it's always good to see them. Um, there, there's not really any, anything that great that comes from Bury to be honest. They've, they've got a, a world famous Berry Market, um, which I don't think is world famous because I don't think anyone else outside of Berry's heard of it. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's all right. It's not bad. So I guess my main kind of inspirations that made me want to pursue a career in music uh, with a kind of original mashup DJs really, so DJs like Fatboy Slim, DJ Yoda, Scratch Perverts, Cuba, Grandmaster Flash, all those kind of DJs um, really really got my vote to be honest and it, when, when I first listened to, to DJs like that it wasn't just about mixing two records, it was just like well, well what would happen if I mix this record together and what happens if I mix that record together, like will that go, how many records can I mix in a certain amount of time and that made me start thinking really creatively and I think from from that alone um, kind of becoming a technical DJ from from listening to DJs like that um, really just um, just just set set on my heart like yeah this is this this, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life Alright, so some of my most memorable shows um, would have to be, I'd say, at number one, um, I have to say, the Archers in Glasgow last October. Uh, it was just absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. The energy in there was, um, was a guess why everyone starts out DJing or starts out producing that that's that's what you uh, you finally want to achieve, like being able to play in front of a in front of a crowd like that where it's just well, you, you've got them in the palm of your hands. Basically, you can do whatever you want, and um, and the crowd kind of just trusts you with, uh, with with what you're doing, and um, trust trust you musically, really, um, and just kind of goes with 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 what you're doing. So yeah, um, I'd say that had to be uh, number one. Okay, so obviously there's the Arches in Glasgow, but more recently, I'd have to say um, the tour with Steve Aoki that I did. Um, Crowd's just absolutely mental. I think it's down to what performance he puts on as well. So they were kind of, kind of really ex expecting chaos, really. Um, but the chaos started before he, um, before he came on. Just, just absolutely incredible crowd. Uh, I think Steve really gets a crowd involved um, with what he's doing, whether it's pouring water over people. Um, spraying champagne, rubber dinghy, or throwing cakes um, at people's faces, but it works, and I think because people were expecting that, and um, and I was kind of warming up nicely, the, the the crowd were just kind of really there, and like I said about the Archies one, when when the crowd really trusts what you're doing, and um, like trust trust you musically what you're doing, um, I think you you set to have a, have an absolutely incredible set. So if you were to look through my iPod, you would get absolutely everything, to be honest. Um, when I was growing up, my parents um, listened to uh, to a lot of Motown. Um, kind of following on from that, my sisters listened to really shit um, pop music. My brother listened to dance music. That's kind of what got me into dance music. So growing up, there was a load of different kind of music musical influences, but... Then when I first started DJing, I was actually DJing in like bars and kind of small clubs, um, quite commercial clubs really. Um, but it kind of pay, it paid the wages. All my mates were working in um, working in shops and stuff like that, and I, I was just able to DJ um, at the weekend. Um, not necessarily playing music that I wanted to play, um, but I did it just because it, it, it got me on the kind of ladder and got me on other people's radar. Um, but when I was playing them kind of sets, I was having to play just a bit of everything. It's like even sometimes I was having to play cheesy music. So, but that that that's just the way it goes, and it's just the way you kind of work work through the ranks. But I mean, musically, you'd find um, Lionel Richie. Um, probably find 
bit of noisier. Uh, I mean, these are really random ones. Just trying to think of some artists. Um, you find some masters at work. Um, you'd find Skrillex. Um, and more current stuff um, with like acts like Hardwell and Nicky Romero. Um, they're kind of taking over my iPod at the minute. So my favourite piece of studio equipment at the minute would have to be Universal Audio's 1176LN. So basically, um, I just put this on my drums and it just makes everything sound absolutely massive. Um, it's a limiter and it's a compressor as well. Um, it's just amazing really. Um, if, if, if you have got Universal Audio sound card, I strongly recommend buying it. Um, and if you haven't, I'd strongly recommend buying it as well. It's just uh, it's just amazing. You don't get a sound like it. Okay, so the best advice that I could give to anybody who's just starting off in the music industry um, is just to work your work your socks off. Really, I think if you're starting off as a DJ, you need to be uh, you need to be selling tickets for promoters. Um, that enables you. It might be a bit of a shit way of thinking about it, but. Um, it gets you in front of these promoters that you wouldn't really get the opportunity to get in front of before um, and then you can just show them what you're made of there and it's all about getting that repeat booking um, following on from that um, don't turn your if you're starting off DJing, don't turn your nose up at the, um, the kind of commercial shows. Musically, it might not be for you, but it's a great platform to kind of take you to the next level and um, plus you get paid for it as well. Um, Following on from that, uh, just it's all about making records in our days. Like if you can make that hit record, you, you, you're going to be pretty much set and get get good management behind you and a good agency. Um, but yeah, I mean, just 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 work hard. And if, if you do want to start making records, watch YouTube videos, do stuff like that because there's so many people out there on the internet that that want to help you. Um, and it, and and it's great, really. Um, it's a, just a nice big community. Um, of, of producers um, so yeah just um, just work really hard and I truly believe that if you've got it inside you and you really badly want it that that you'll make it